The global COVID-19 pandemic highlighted the need for new long-term care homes in Ontario. Jumping to action, the Ontario government launches an innovative approach to get shovels in the ground for new, modern, long-term care homes in months, not years. So the accelerated construction and rapid delivery program is built on doing both design and construction in a way that can be accelerated. Quickly after the mandate to build these facilities was decided, we created a procurement process which rapidly sought from the market an open call for contractors and designers who could build on a rapid basis. And that procurement process quickly identified a short list of groups that were able and capable to build facilities like this one. The need for this infrastructure is massive. There are over 11,000 people on waiting lists for long-term care placement in Durham Region alone. On top of that, with the pandemic, the need to get people back to work was a compelling reason that the province wanted to do an accelerated build, and we were very happy to be part of that. We were very fortunate to have some land, and the province picked us as one of the three parties to do this project. The key to success in this project was being able to go into the pre-construction phase with a very open mind. That open-minded approach allowed us to develop an innovative strategy such as the kit of parts, the off-site modularization, the just-in-time delivery, the overnight installations. That's what coupled the success to be as good as it is. We worked very hard with the province, with Infrastructure Ontario, to do the selection process in record-setting time. We were very fortunate to have picked PCL to be our development partner, and the planning then started in earnest. Thanks to the use of hospital land, rapid procurement and design development, schedule innovation, modular construction, and a talented and engaged workforce, the facility will be complete years faster than a traditional build timeline. The schedule was a challenge from the beginning. To deliver a building in, in such a rapid pace required that the stakeholders had buy into the plan. The challenge was how many of these components can we build in multiple locations and bring them all together at the same time to deliver the building within the, within the schedule. The strategy to be successful was we had to be intentional about the approach. The importance of having the right trade community is vital to being successful in these projects. The rapid delivery process requires trades who are committed, who have a strong safety culture, who deliver exceptional quality, and who have been through this rapid model in the past. This is really exciting for the Durham region, and this really is about our future. It's about celebrating something really positive within long-term care and building care for residents throughout the Durham region. We're very proud to be picked to be the, one of the first three projects to be done under the Accelerated Build Program by the province of Ontario. You can either make or break the job in the early days understanding timelines. You know, if you, if you blow by a schedule date early on, you might not have a chance to make that up later in modular construction. So expertise uh, obviously comes from a number of areas. G architects, park and architects, um, intuitive, quasar, uh, and the rest of the design team really stepped up to the plate to meet all of those expectations. So the kit of parts approach looks at it as doing, say, the walls, the washing pods, the floors, or the shear walls at separate locations and then they all come to sites uh, to be assembled together. So the key to success is pulling the building apart into manageable chunks of construction for specialists in those areas. So for example we took the load-bearing walls and we worked with a load-bearing wall panel specialist. We took the washroom pods and worked with the washroom pod specialist. The precast concrete with a precast concrete specialist. Instead of trying to solve all of the problems in one module, we broke it apart into manageable chunks. A 
Along the way, we encountered many design challenges. One of the most challenging features to, to figure out was related to the modular approach and how we were going to coordinate the mechanical service shafts. That sort of thing it took a lot of effort and resources to ensure that we got it right because with the modular washroom pods coming, there was no room for error in regards to the services behind it. Okay, come down your line. Come down another three more feet. Yeah, to your left, 10 feet. Okay, hold that. And that's how it's done. So on this project, we leveraged PCL's own forces work group in Toronto, which is a select group of our hourly carpenters and laborers who complete permanent installations on our sites. So they were on the critical path of the schedule and their commitment to making sure they were hitting all of the dates, handling product with care, and they were meeting milestones was very important for us. The biggest takeaway from the, for the building community from a job like this is understanding that there's a level of commitment that needs to be made. And on this job it was made from Infrastructure Ontario and Lake Ridge Health right through PCL, our consultants and our sub-trades. And it's that level of commitment that's required in order to make something like this happen. The most important part of overseeing a construction project ultimately is safety. We want to make sure that whatever we're doing on the site and off-site, we can maintain a strong health and safety environment for the workers because this speed means that people will be working in multiple shifts in multiple places at the exact same time. The other piece of this project which is even more unique than other ways is the amount of collaboration that we've required amongst the designers, the constructors, the owner, the government, the municipal partners, everyone. And what I find really amazing about this particular project is how well everyone came together and really realized the cause and what was needed for the sector and obviously for the community. It was a relentless uh, set of decision makings uh, making the project happen. The pre-construction for a project of this nature was essential for success. We had to make decisions in real time uh, that had lasting implications for how the building was built. We worked very hard with PCL, the talented design teams and our partners at the region of Durham to make sure that we designed a facility that was uh, enhanced from all standards and was state of the art. What you see in front of you is a building that has been supported by so many people. Elected officials by PCL, uh, by internally the folks of Lake Ridge on our capital side. And what we want to say, and certainly what I have said, is this is a state-of-the-art building. Everyone comes to work every day knowing that they're contributing to the success of this project. They're all aware that the finish line is nearing and that there's only excitement in being able to provide long-term care to the area. The project achieves substantial performance, a monumental accomplishment. The one thing I learned is that it's doable. Something that seems impossible is definitely possible when you commit to achieving those goals, meeting those milestones, and everyone really works as a team. From this project, I'm hoping that people can take away a stronger belief in modular construction and what it can do. I hope that this carries forward for the people who leave this project on other jobs and helps grow modular in Toronto, in Ontario, and markets across North America. This was super impressive. From the very beginning, the ability to build a facility at this speed was something everyone had questioned and whether it was actually going to be possible. So to see PCL actually deliver on their schedule has been an amazing thing. Our relationship with, uh, with I.O. and uh, the, the leaders here at Lake Ridge Health have been nothing but super positive. They've embraced uh, from day one our, our model for the approach to being successful. 
they've uh, followed uh, followed our procurement schedule and met all their milestones to help us be successful. And really, they've removed a lot of the roadblocks to allow us to get to the finish line. It's one of those things that you get to do once or twice if you're lucky. And let's do it right. And certainly, this is a building that's a testimony to that. The thing I'm most proud about this project is everyone's commitment to the team. And I am most proud of the fact that we're going to deliver this project on time. And I'm tremendously proud of all the collaboration in building this facility on such a rapid basis. And I absolutely loved seeing the modular pieces of this puzzle come together. I am super proud of the collaborative effort, how we all came together to build this very important facility for the residents of Durham. On behalf of Lake Reach Health and our Board of Trustees, just a huge thank you and a sense of gratitude for all that have helped us achieve this rapid new long-term care build that will serve the residents throughout Durham region for the future and many years to come.